My name is Zofia and I'm going to show you three of my favorite breathing strategies today. These are awesome to use if you're feeling stressed or maybe angry, anxious, any of those big feelings it can really help with. And it helps us to get oxygen back to our brain so we can think more clearly, we can get back to the green zone, we can feel more calm. And all of these breathing exercises really help if you do deep breaths from your tummy. And what I mean by that is instead of taking breaths up here in your chest, you're going to take them from your tummy. So try something with me now. Take one hand and put it on your chest. So put it up here. Take your other hand and put it on your tummy. And now take a breath in through your nose and try to breathe that air into your tummy. Let's give it a try together. So in through your nose, filling your tummy up and breathe out through your mouth. Awesome, let's try it again. In through your nose, filling up your tummy with air, and out through your mouth. Awesome. So what we're doing there is taking deep breaths rather than up here. It's nice to fill our tummy with air. It really helps us to calm down. So if you have your hands like this and you're practicing, you'll notice this hand will rise and fall with the breaths you take into your tummy. So try and do that in these exercises. So number one is Rena Kornblum's four B's of self-control. And these are awesome because they're easy to remember and they get your whole body into it. So let's try it together. The first B is breaks. So you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna squeeze them together. You're gonna put all that energy into your hands, whatever it is, angry energy, stressed energy. And the second B is breath. So like we did before, in through your nose, into your tummy, lifting your hands above your head, and then out through your mouth. The third B is brain. So you're gonna bring your hands to your head and you're gonna think to yourself, I am calm. The fourth B is body. So you're gonna bring your hands down to your body, hold them there for a second and just check in. See how your body's feeling. Is it still kind of buzzing? Let's do another breath. So see if you can remember them. The first B is breaks. So you're gonna squeeze all that energy into your hands. Second B is breath. So your hands go up breathing into your tummy, in through your nose, out through your mouth, and they come down to your head for our third B, which is brain. And you're gonna be thinking to yourself, I am calm. And then our last B is body, so bringing your hands down to your chest here, and checking in with your body, seeing if it's kind of settled down a bit. And you can do it as many times as you need until you start to feel a bit more calm. Our second one is super easy. I call it hand breathing. And this one was actually taught to me by a wonderful grade five student. And all you need is your hand. You can hold it up like this and pretend that you are gonna trace your hand with this finger, which is kind of like gonna be our imaginary pencil. And so you'll start here by your thumb and you're gonna take a breath in every time you draw up and a breath out every time you draw down. So it'll go breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. But we need to do it really slowly. See how slowly you can go. So we'll start down here and take a breath in, just like before, into our tummy, breathing in through our nose. And out through your mouth. And in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And then once you're done all your fingers, that's five awesome deep breaths. And you'll probably start to feel a little more calm. If not, do the other hand. You could do your toes. They're very small though, so you might need to go really slowly up and down. All right, so number three, last one. This is probably my favorite one. It's called box breathing. And it's really straightforward. It's really simple. We're just gonna draw a box. So you can draw it on a piece of paper. You can just draw it imaginary in the air if you'd like, but it'll have four sides and we're gonna do something different for each side. And this is what I mean. So when we draw the line up for the box, we're gonna take a breath in. When we draw across the top of the box, we're gonna hold that breath. When we draw down, we're gonna breathe out. And when we draw across, we're gonna hold again. So it's basically breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold. But we're not gonna do it that fast. We're gonna slow it down. So let's try it together and remember to do that awesome deep breathing in through your nose, into your tummy, and then out through your mouth. So we're breathing in on our first side of the box, we're holding, we're breathing out, and we're holding. Let's try one more time. Breathing in, holding, breathing out, 
folding. So this one's awesome. You can just do that as many times as you need to start feeling calm again, to be getting that awesome oxygen back to your brain. You can doodle it on a piece of paper. You can just draw it in the air, whatever is easy for you. So those are my three favorite ways to use breathing to calm myself down when I'm feeling some of those big emotions like stress or anger or fear or anxiety. It really helps me. So give it a try. Next time you might feel some of those things. Um, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. Bye.